Okay, welcome back. And here today, I've got something a little bit different. I'm sure you've never seen anything like this before. If you're a Action Man collector, vintage or modern, this is a little bit of a hybrid. And my take on some out there characters, space characters, I uh, started making this line a while back. I've uh, done a video on adventures in recasting. And as you can see, these are all recasted heads from uh, an eagle eye vintage figure. So what I basically did is I took the head and uh, recast it in two parts and then uh, put the heads together, put some yellow BBs in there. I think they're six or eight mil, can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, I think they're six mil. And um, yeah, they fit perfectly in the eyes. And you can see they've all got yellow eyes. So I'll just zoom in quickly on uh, these two. And they've all got different coloured hair <laughs> and they've all got uh, different colour features and outfits. This one here, I got the outfit from uh, Mick Coxie. Anybody in the Action Man communities will know who that is. And this suit is uh, taken from one of the original moulds. And this is one that he done me in a deal. I think it was one of his uh, uh, what you call it, seconds. He done me a good price, and it looks really good for the character. I've got another yellow one, which is a clean. But this one's I don't know if he's mixed glitter or something in with the mold, and uh, he didn't like how it turned out, but I do. So that's that's that one. I'll start with this one here. This is a this is a modern action man, space commander outfit, and it comes with a load of accessories which I can't be bothered. I mean, I might do. I'll, what I'll do is I'll start with this one and do a uh, a quick, you know story of where he's come from yeah so starting with this one as, as i said before the outfit is a modern action man outfit it, it i think it come in silver as well the, the the helmet and the boots and whatever these thigh guards or except you know parts of the outfit like robotic parts technical parts I've seen them in silver as well, so unless somebody's repainted those or come in two different types, I uh, got this for a really good price. Uh, so it come with all the the um, jetpack and the backpack, and which converts into a like a missile type firing thing. It was incomplete; some of the straps are missing, but I might still use it at some point. That was my ankle cracking. <laughs> um, but yeah I just like the look of it as it is it it just looks the outfit's pretty good it's got the detailing that kind of reminds me of um, a bit like the alien suits um, you know from the Nostromo it's kind of got that look but more sleek also reminds me a bit of David Bowie or Bowie, <laughs> whatever way you want to pronounce it. It's got that kind of look going on. If you've ever seen the film, The Man Who Fell to Earth. Yeah, I don't know, it's just the look of it. It's just got that kind of vibe to me. And the head sculpt, as I say, I showed my first um, delvins into recasting. And this was one of the heads that I think I mixed blue paint with. Yeah, blue paint, it made the head slightly bigger than the rest. So this is a little bit 
larger than your average uh, eagle eye head. So, as you see him revolving, raised up the camera a little bit. You can see he's got like a speckled paint job, which I rather like. And I flopped the hair in a kind of tribute to um, that character at Star Wars, the one with uh, Lando Carizian. I think he's called Lombot or something. He's got a very unique hairstyle. So I thought I'd uh, copy that. So, well, yeah, copy that. And uh, so that can show off some of the nice speckling on the head sculpt. Had to re-sculpt one of the ears, not that one, the other one, because the uh, mould didn't catch the detail. So I've kind of, each one of these heads has had a re-sculpted uh, ear and it was a little bit deformed. So I've kind of painted them silver to simulate some sort of earpiece. So yeah, that's the first one that I did. And I thought, well, while I'm at it, I'll do some more. But this one, I uh, coloured the hand silver with just some metal metallic marker. And that's it, I haven't really touched anything else. I'll maybe add a little bit of silver here and there on the boots. Just a touch here and there. The uh, These panels, whatever, leg gauntlets. Add a little bit of silver on those. And that's it really. And the helmet. Already had that bit of silver there. It's got the Action Man logo, or the modern one. I think I added a bit of silver here and there. Nothing too drastic. Pretty clean looking figure. So I got it for a really good price. So the outfit's a little bit dirty and disheveled, but I don't mind. So that's number one. I haven't got a name for him. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, any suggestions? Leave in the comments below. So that's number one. Next, number two. Okay, number two of the Alien Space Force. Whatever you want to call them. I haven't really thought of much of a backstory for these people yet. But uh, yeah, this one, I say the outfit was from Mick Coxie. Off an original mould that they did the uh, Space Ranger moulds from. Um, and I say if you are if you are wanting one of these or you've got an old one that's deteriorated get in touch with him on Facebook and he will do you a good deal I'm sure they're a lot tougher than the originals they're like I said before the more of consistency of a garden glove a bit rough the rubber but it's uh, very durable and it will it will take a lot of uh, damage well not damage but it'll take a lot of air uh, it's got a lot of tensile strength and it you know with the originals they're very delicate and uh, with this one it's on another modern action man body it's a dr x villain and he's got the green translucent robotic arm as you can see coming around and that was a bit of effort trying to stretch the suit over that. And I was trying to pull it up a bit more, but yeah, it gets chunkier or chonkier as it goes up. So um, yeah, that's as far up as I can get it without tearing the suit. So the suits will take a good bit of, um, you know, manipulation without tearing. If you're careful, if you use a bit of talcum powder, they go on a bit easier. Uh, this body is not the most articulated. It's got the arms move up and down. That's about it. The legs are more articulated. You can do the splits and backwards and forwards. It's got very small feet. 
Um, a tip, if you if you do get one of these suits to make your Space Ranger Force, it's concerning the feet. Now I've not seen anybody else do this or mention this, but the feet look very floppy. Let me show you the original one I've got. And it just looks like a, a child wearing a, a baby grow. You know, the feet are very floppy. The original design was, I think, supposed to be a hard plastic boot and um, a cloth outfit, which they went with later on after the initial sort of problems with this kind of outfit. But what I did was I super, well, not super glue, I glue gunned the feet into a, a, a original Action Man boot and then just put it inside the suit. So now, I was thinking of just filling it with glue or something to bulk it up, but here you've got the actual boot inside the baby grow, if you want to call it that. And it looks really good. So I'm going to do that with my other ones. This is the first one I tried it with. I say with the original suits you can't do it because they're too um, delicate and they will rip. But if you do get a replacement suit, head over to Mick Coxie, he'll sort you out one. In all different colours, you can get yellow, black, blue, dark blue, um, purple, I've seen a purple one. You can do any custom colour you want really. So, and it, you know, without the the sash and what do you call it, tabard that the originals come with, it gives it, see the original there with the tabard and the belt. It's kind of 80s cheesy Space Force look. You know, but without it, you can see the outfit has got a lot of great detail. All the piping and it's very uh, reminiscent of the 80s, well, late 70s, 80s look. You know, if you go back to um, 2001, you know, that sort of outfit had a lot of intricate detailing in it. And then just finished it off with the backpack, which is, again, just something I had in my parts box from a, a modern action man set. And I was going to team this up with my bishop. It's got like a little laptop in there and I might get a decal of a screen. I think the original one did have a did have a decal in there, but it's perished. It's not a bad looking little pack. And then the head, this is the worst out of the bunch for um integrity. Like the green paint for some reason. Maybe there was too much green in the mix of resin. It's very brittle. And uh, for some reason, the glue didn't take or the flop didn't take there. So I thought, well, a little bit beyond the ear. I thought, well, that's, that's how he looks. That's his look. So that's number two. And then finally, I painted, well, I've done his hand with uh, metallic pen and green pen to kind of match his skin tone and then finally repainted his um, helmet which came out really nice it's a, a neon green paint but um Yeah, because the original helmet is a darker colour. Again, I'll show you the original here. The original colour is this, dark bluey green. More like a, I don't know, a jade green maybe. So, you know, if, if I put more layers of paint on that, that would look really bright. But... Um, I want it to look weathered, so as you can see, extreme close up. I've gone in with some weathering powders and 
some silver paint and just bashed it up a bit. I think that looks really good. If I do say so myself. So shall I take a pause for the cause and say thanks for watching part one and I'll uh, upload part two. Okay, thanks for watching.